What is going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video i just wanted to make this quick little update over here for the developer version preview 5 which would be the last android p beta for almost all the devices and this is the gsr running on the redmi note 4 and the redmi note 5 pro both are just amazing devices and i said quick little update because literally there is nothing much over here in this developer preview because it's the last preview update that we would be seeing after the pixel 3 and the official android p release so yeah let's just take a look so first of all on redmi note 4 it's not a lot of change because it doesn't even have a nav bar so we'll just take a look on the redmi note 5 pro on the majority as just of the other videos but still if you are guys asking me the volti support redmi note 5 pro completely supports volti i don't have any kind of sim over here on the note 5 pro but still this is a complete hd voice call fixed device whereas compared to the redmi note 4 developers are still working for a fix and it would be coming soon so if you want more info on that subscribe down there i would be posting on my community tab so also be sure to turn on the the bell notifications and literally there is nothing it's just basically everything that was with developer preview 4 and fixed because it's the last preview and then again when we are talking about this specific gsi it's doing wonders for many of the phones like i have seen lee ecos and galaxy s9 running android p and it's just amazing and mind-blowing how well it works but still redmi note 5 pro is the best device to test android p currently because it's powerful then again volti and everything is just working fine but let's just take a look at the specific dp5 updates over here first of all no ui changes compared to the dp4 but as you can see the icons are again a bit more updated even if you compare to the normal phone I haven't installed DP5 on my MI1 because it's basically the same stuff but even if you take a look at the accents, the blue accent is much more darker than before but then again the icons look just amazing. Also this looks like a retweet button but there you go. Auto rotate battery saver, most of the icons get updated which were remaining. And also being on the home screen, let's just go to home settings. If you go to suggestions, now we have overview selection. That just basically means when switching apps, touch and hold the text and images to see actions. Now, yeah, let's just try cause it just doesn't really work great. So for example, let's just open Chrome. Let's just open any kind of tab. So for example, let's just open Wikipedia. There you go. Now we are in the overview selection. Let's just try. Oh, oh, there you go. Now it finally works in developer preview five. Like literally finally you can just copy and I don't think you can paste over here or something. No, you can just copy and share, which is still a nice thing. I don't know whether about images, let's just try again. We have an image over here. Okay, there you go, share. And it also gave me a haptic feedback, which is a very nice thing. Literally very good addition by Google, but still even on Snapdragon 845, the recent apps panel isn't live as iOS, which I don't know, but just makes Android devices feel less powerful than compared to the iBots. And then there are much more lesser GSI mismatches error in this newer GSI update, which is a very nice thing. Then again, it says drag right to switch apps quickly. Wow, didn't knew that already as if. But let's just take a look at the apps and stuff. So for example, the gestures are still here. If you are not getting the gestures working on Redmi Note 5 Pro, you have to actually flash a gesture fix zip. Links will be in the description. Also, if you are using the normal Volti vendor, not the Moki vendor, you don't have to flash post one and post two zips. Just directly flash the post three, which would be the kernel and you would be okay. Then again, Gcam and everything is just fully working. Again, there are much more lesser lags. Like if you are wondering, there was a SD card lag. For example, if you tap files, it would open after a minute. Oh here, yeah, as you can see, it opened after like two to three seconds, which was uh, very nice compared to the older versions. But then let's just go to settings. And then again, in sub menus, there is just nothing updated at all. Even if you go to the display, advanced, you still have your normal stuff. If you go to device theme, if you go to dark, yeah. Developers have actually fixed the settings menus just like linear joys, but I kind of prefer this thing even it like looks beautiful on the Note 5 Pro which just looks like a budget pixel too. But then again, I just like the light theme. So here are the icons as you can see not a lot of change compared to the developer preview for they are just basically the same. Going to the software version, it still says 9 and the security patch is July 5 which is same as the developer preview for cause August isn't here. And then again, build number is uh, developer preview 5 again. Pretty amazing stuff that we are getting it running on just almost all the devices running treble. And then there is just literally nothing changed. If you just talk about smaller things such as the navbar and stuff, again, I know it gets an animated icon now, but still it isn't a big change compared to the developer before. And I just sort of don't know, like how can Google mess this up? So for example, if you have enabled the gestures, if you swipe up, you have the recent apps panel. If you swipe up completely, you have apps menu, which is very hard on taller phones like this. So even if you do fast, nah. It just opens the recent apps panel. But if you're in apps menu and if you want to check whether you already have opened that app, cause if you again tap an app over here, it will just uh, reset. It will just open in RAM again. 
you can't go to recent task panel from over here yes which is extremely doable by a physical button and then again there is no specific gesture for going back i know there are for switching apps such as like this you can switch between apps there you go if you want to switch to the previous app you can just swipe like this but still i really think google should add a gesture for back I know just like iOS, Android also has back buttons, but you can't really stretch on bigger phones like this. You have to actually use your two hands. So yeah, I just think that gestures must be a bit improved over here when compared to the MIUI, even like OnePlus. I mean, the animations are just messed up, but still works pretty great. And that's pretty much it for the developer preview 5 GSI on your treble phones. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yes, Redmi Note 3 treble video is coming soon. I'm just working on getting the Android P working on that thing. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.